What's up guys, it's Levi. I am really excited for the video today, what we're gonna be talking about. And we probably all experienced this at one point or another. Uh, it's a horse with energy on the trail. So I'm really excited to dig into it. Uh, we got a question from Kathy. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna dig into that. Uh, but first, if you do enjoy videos like this, I would definitely appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and uh, share it with friends, a uh, little bit of anything because I, I really enjoy doing this. I love getting that message out there about this stuff because we all need a little bit more of, of uh, exactly what Kathy is talking about with her horse here. So let's get right into her question. She writes, hi Levi, as you know, I have a young horse, Willow. I do, I've worked the horse already, nice horse. And my question is, Willow has a lot of energy starting out on the ride, but when I'm riding with a group of horses, I have a little problem getting her to stand quietly when the group wants to take a break. Willow does like to lead, but she will also ride in the back of the group, so that is not a problem. She just seems a little overwhelmed and wants to move around. How can I get her to relax? I know some of it, her age, but I don't want her to get into some bad habits. Excellent question, Kathy. And so many of us have that same thing, that very same thing. It's not terrible, but like Kathy said, she doesn't want it to become a bad habit. And she is right. She has a younger horse, so that also contributes into that. So, But what we tend to do when we're out on the trail is we tend to sit there and just hold them. We tighten our reins up and we hold them. The minute we loosen forward a little, they tend to want to speed up. So then we're technically teaching the horse, every time I loosen your reins, that means go faster. And we really don't want that. And all we're looking for uh, is just to get out there and have a nice relaxed ride. That's why we trail ride. Like we want to get out there and enjoy looking at the scenery. Uh, so, to make that the most pleasant we can, we, we're going to have to do our homework. So that's what we want to talk about today. And uh, like I said, it's very frustrating. Very frustrating when you're out on the trail and your horse just keeps wanting to go faster. And uh, I'm sure some of you uh, experienced when you got done riding, your hands were, arms were like tired. That's not why we ride horses. We ride horses because we want to have fun. However, we're going to have to do our part because we tend to get a little bit lazy when we go on the trail, because that's why we're, we're going out to ride, is to have fun. So we, we tend to forget about what we should be doing. And that's what I wanna to talk to. And, uh, and when I say we get lazy on the trail, I'm the same way, I go out to relax. Uh, so, but I wanna give you some tools that you can play without on the trail, so it's still a pleasant ride. And, uh, but first, I want to get some homework down. Uh, anytime I have a horse that struggles with something, I always want to make sure I work on it at home first, get my horse very understanding. And when I say at home, I'm talking like arena work. And if you don't have an arena, that's fine too. You can do it in a paddock, somewhere in a small area, so you have to focus on that. And I really want to get to where me and my horse understand my uh, exercises. And really be very like, okay, we got this down. And then I will leave and, uh, and do my stuff out on the trail or whatever I'm working on. So a quick little story. My dad always said, uh, when we're behaving badly as kids, when we're little kids, he said, when we're behaving badly in public, he knows he's missing something at home. It's a very true story. Same way with the horses. If, if they're being bad away from home, that means we need to do some more homework. And uh, so my point is make sure it's better. So when you go away from home, that way you and your horse understand each other when you apply that stuff. So homework, lots of stuff, lots of exercises. Turning is a good one. Turning is a really good exercise to slow your horse down. But don't just turn to turn. I wanna turn and I'm looking for something. I'm feeling for something. What is it? I want them to slow down. And I'm gonna be working on this stuff at home. Like I said, it can be in your paddock. If you have an arena, use the arena. And even if you don't have a have a paddock, so like make a fake uh, 
arena out in your pasture. It doesn't really matter. Put cones up to where you're like, okay, I'm going to stay inside this area. This is my arena. So it's more a mental thing than anything else. So you get in there and you start working on exercises like turning. And every time you turn, you're looking for something. I want my horse to give in the face, as in like soften that nose, like tipping over, and slow down. And I'm going to do this often, lots and often. So remember, every time you're done, let them walk out five steps and do it again. Lots and lots, five steps and do it again. What are you looking for? Give and slow down. That's the stuff you're looking for. Now, pretty soon, you're going to have to push your horse to walk out faster when you're doing your homework. Give and slow down. Keep remembering that. Five steps, do it again. Now, when your horse starts getting used to it, now you can go more like 15 steps and do it again because your horse is waiting on you. They're paying attention to the feel from you. And uh, so then when you're able to go out on the trail and you start applying a little bit of this stuff, your horse is immediately going to go, oh, I remember when we did this at home. Now you don't have to fight. But remember also, don't work from behind. And what I'm saying by that, uh, when we're riding our horses, we do a lot of defense. We, we do a lot of stuff where we say no, no, no. And I want to get to yes. Like no tends to be a little more on the negative side. Yes is way more positive way more positive. So I always want to get to yes with my horse. Yes. Yes. So how do we do that? You set the exercise. You move them out five steps and you pick up on that rein to turn them and they slow down and you let go. That's your yes. You're saying thank you. And you continue that. And boy, I tell you what, it doesn't take long at all. That horse starts connecting with you and they start doing exactly what you ask instead of their own. Instead of when the reins get loosened up, they want to speed up and we don't want that. So, but I want you to be able to feel it. Don't just do it because I told you or because somebody else told you. I want you to feel it when you pick up. I want to feel that slow down. I want, let's say that walk is at a six, like that horse is moving right out. When I pick up to do my exercise, I want that walk to go to a one or a two, as in like slow right down. If you don't feel that, stay turning until you feel it. That way you know the difference. And a lot of times we catch ourselves where we start turning because somebody told us and we just circle our horse and the horse starts speeding up. The exercise becomes a punishment. We want the exercise to become a calming exercise. So every time we do that, the horse thinks, ah, I love this. Because it's every time we do it, I get to slow down and relax my mind. And that's what we're trying to work on here. So, and then another good exercise is what I call the pulling and releasing exercise. It's where I ride one-handed, and uh, until I'm ready, I'm gonna, let's say I'm gonna grab this hand right here, left hand, it doesn't really matter which hand you do it, but you hold it with this hand, and then move your horse out five steps, like really get him moving out, slide down with this one on your rein, and I pull. When I feel them slow down, I let go again. Now we're not turning anymore, this is a, uh, this would be like the step two of the slow down exercise, let's say. And I let go again, walk out five steps, slide and do that same exercise. Do it often, do it often and pay attention. Focus on what you're doing. Don't just do it because I told you or somebody else told you, you are looking for something. Now, if your horse stays walking at a one or a two, I want you to actually move them out to a six because I want that horse moving so there's room to slow down. So now you see what's happening? We're getting that horse to connect with you and not you're not sitting there playing defense all the time. You're not sitting there going, no, no, no. And that gets very old uh, hearing that all the time. And just put yourself in that situation for, for whatever reason. If it was somebody telling you no all the time, it kind of sucks. So I, I really want you to think about that and uh, get to a yes. Get to a yes with your horse. Your horse is going to be way more relaxed and way more willing to help you. But we have to get that clear plan down to, to be able to make that happen. So remember, five steps. Do it again. If your horse speeds up before your five steps, apply the exercise before the five steps. But if they're behaving, five steps, do it again. Five steps, do it again. And continue that. And it ain't going to be long at all. Your horse is really going to be like hooked on to you, connected, understanding.
Know what, know what you're looking for out of them versus when we're kind of vague, we're sitting there just holding and holding and holding gets very old. Remember, holding and holding and holding equals no. And no is negative. We want to get away from that. Now, if also, if my friends don't want to hang out with me while I'm working with my horse, I'm probably uh, not going to ride with them because I want them to be able to uh, be okay if we have to slow down or I have to work with my horse. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's just saying, okay, I need to work on this. And if my friends don't want to hang out while I'm doing it, that's okay. I will work my horse till my horse is good and then go back and ride with them. So it's really, it's something to think about, work on, and be very thoughtful. Like, how is that horse receiving that message? And that's what it's all about. I want to be able to connect you better with that feel, uh, and the horse's uh, mental state of mind, because that's what it is. It's a lot of mental stuff that we want to work on. So, but it's all good stuff if you can apply it. So I'm really excited for you to try it. And then this stuff works on anything. Even if you're in a show pen, this stuff works the same way. Now, maybe you can't circle it in your show pen if you're showing and stuff. However, it doesn't really matter. It still works when you pick up, you want to feel that horse come back to me. So it's not just trail riding. It's, it's a little bit of everything. All this stuff works really good. It's getting that connection with your horse and getting that feel down. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you know somebody that horse is a little hot feel free to share the video or has a lot of energy feel free to share it and uh, get them to watch it might just help them and uh, if it does that's why i'm doing these videos is for that exact reason and if you would happen to have a question like that feel free to email us and uh, it's beachy horsemanship at yahoo.com and we might just use your question for the next video so long thanks for watching